Alright. Let us get this campaign started. Coming in from the east, the forest and fields around you and the caravan you have been hired to protect seem to rustle with life. Crickets and bugs chirp, birds tweet, the sun shines, and brother, it is nice outside. For the past several days, your caravan has been traveling a road that winds lazily across the rolling grasslands of the green fields. The sundown is approaching when you top a rise and see the town of Greenest just a few short miles away. But instead of the pleasant, welcoming town you expected, you see columns of black smoke rising from burning buildings, running figures that are little more than dots in this distance, and a dark, winged shape wheeling low over the keep that rises above the center of town. Greenest is being attacked by a dragon. The caravan leader, a, st a small, squat-looking dwarf with uh, a few too many warts on his nose, immediately cries out to the mercenaries he hired, including the four of you. Oi! You lot! Get up here! We've got trouble! In terms of caravan, it's not much of a caravan. It's four carts carrying general goods. However, for one reason or another, it was heading in a direction your characters wanted to go. So you signed on for each of your own individual reasons. And now, it looks like you're going to get a chance to put your skills to good use. Who would be the first to arrive up front? I will roll if no one answers. I guess I will. Okay. Out of curiosity. All right. <laughs> Morgan and Nate would. Morgan and Nate's characters would arrive at the same time. Uh, Morgan, go ahead and describe your character, please. Um, name and everything. Yeah. Astus New Nor Norleans, a level one dragonborn barbarian. But what color? Brass. Like Good. a doorknob. Ooh. <laughs> Nate, go ahead and describe your character. I am Nora Mog, the level one dragonborn sorceress. <laughs> Welcome to the Tyranny of Dragon campaign, where half the half the players are dragonborn. <laughs> because that's the best way to play. They should have been a whole full party of dragonborn. Oh my god, all of them different colors. Yes. Uh, and, totally and we're just pl essentially playing Power Rangers at that point. <laughs> go, go, Dragon Rangers! <laughs> that's another game! That's another game! <laughs> Uh, Nate, what color is your dragonborn? Uh, I, I wanted to go purple because I wanted to be fancy, but I was told no, so Yeah, bad. you can't be purple. That's a bad. Yeah, I know. So we'll go with so, red. Yes, I was told, I was told no purple, so I went with red. There you go. Right. As the two dragonborn arrive up front first, they would immediately recognize the silhouette of a massive dragon swooping over the town. As it, as it, as it comes up from its first swoop, it rises up into a nice little parabola, letting out a mighty roar at the top, and then swings back down. Like a Big, scaly, leathery-winged roller coaster that can Eat. breathe fire. 
or light or lightning or poison. You know, you can't tell color from here. We should be able to tell by what it's spewing. D and D, it's roaring. Color, right? it's a color, it's color spewing sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the place damage. is on fire, right? Yeah, yeah, but you can tell that it's being attacked by stuff other than the dragon as well. Oh. Oh. A lot of the dots in the distance seem to be chasing other ones. Who would arrive next? I'll, I'll arrive a little bit later. And then Jimmy, I'm like, oh, I see! Oh, I see! What's going on? Please describe your <laughs> character. I'm playing a halfling rogue. Name? And she's like half the size of everyone else. Her name is Buttercup. And she's a rogue. As Buttercup arrives, the caravan leader looks to her. I don't know why in the nine hills I hired you. But I found a couple of silver coins recently, so I'm assuming that was you. Hmm. Whatever. Look, we've got a problem up there. Where's your librarian? He says to uh, Nora. The, the, wait, librarian? Hi. At this point, Sarah, your character would arrive. Okay, so <laughs> over the cart, finally, to get to you guys, this human just kind of falls backward <laughs> with her butt landing on the floor. And eventually she stands up, patting down her dress. <laughs> and kind of straightens out her hair. It's like, you try running over three carts in heels. Ugh. I told you that and wasn't a good idea for exploring. I used to walk <laughs> up and down my mountain in heels twice <laughs> per day in the snow. He goes, on a, he goes on a small rant before the dragon roars again and he's knocked out of it. Ah, shit! <laughs> right. I'm thinking it snows on mountains. <laughs> We've got to deal with that. Right. So, as he says that, my lady Arifin would kind of march up to the front of the cart, and you just see her prepare a poison spray in her hand. It's like, you gotta get me closer, I can't get, get to anything. Can we detach a horse? We're gonna be rolling right up to it. Alright then. I just want you, f you lot to be ready. We're always ready. That's why we're still alive. Alright. As the caravan begins making its way down. <laughs> okay, that token came out funny. We'll work, we'll work on that. As the caravan begins making its way down, as you reach the edge of town, uh, the uh, god looks through his book for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Do not move your characters. This entire scene is not to scale. You enter on one of the eastern edges of the one of the western edges of the town. You approach seeing a large tavern on your right with the name uh, Greenest Brewery. A couple other houses on the left that look fairly standard, like, you know, people might live there. And as the caravan comes to a halt, the dwarf caravan leader orders all of them to circle up and has some of his other guards and mercenaries hop in and start creating a phalanx around it. 
You four, go find out what happened. See if you can't help some of these people. We'll start, we'll start, uh, well, we'll follow you as you go. Right? Right. Hmm. Yes. Right. Well, go. Okay, then. Um, uh, so we just start walking forward. Yep. yep. All right. As the party progresses forward, you can hear the sounds of screaming and battle from elsewhere in the town. There seems to be a faint haze of smoke everywhere, and you can see off in the eastern side that there's there's a fire somewhere like it's glowing over there as you pass the tavern and the first couple of houses to reach the crossroads you feel something approaching and you glance up just in time to see the dragon swoop over everyone Ooh. it left out it lets out a roar, but doesn't seem to have actually taken a notice of you, or to actually give a damn about you. That's rude. Did we get a good look at its color? It's blue. Oh god. Ooh. Shocking. <laughs> I will murder you. <laughs> Death streamed live. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it? You heard it here first, folks. His admission. Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. I killed him. Why did you kill him? Uh, he made a really bad pun in a D and D game. Oh, the worst crime imaginable. Your crime is understandable. You are acquitted. <laughs> Blue dragon. All right. Are there any townspeople in range to protect? Funny you should mention that. Because as you are approaching, you see, without warning, five humans dash out from between two buildings on your right. A limping man and three young children race across the street into more shadows hoping to take cover underneath a tree. A woman carrying a round shield and a broken spear turns and faces back in the direction from which they came. Seven kobolds stream out of the same alley they emerged from, hissing, sputtering, and laughing as they fan out around the woman. I want to run up to assist. Yeah, I'm going to lunge after them. I have a bow. I'll stay back. <laughs> too. Actually, uh, how close together are they? Uh, the kobolds themselves are fairly close together. I'm putting together a battle map. Give me just a second. Okay. All right. So barbarians <laughs> rushing forward. All right. Astos rushes forward. Uh, uh, Nora rushes up. Arafin's kind of hanging back, and Buttercup is not moving because she has a bow. Well, Nora's trying to get into at least minimal range. I'm pretty sure you're in minimal range. Okay, cool. All right. And... Everybody roll an issue. Woo! Oh! Rolling in your shit Oh yeah. Look at that shit I rolled. <laughs> oh, did mine not? This shit. is gonna be some fucked up shit. <laughs> well said, Nate. It'll be fine. There's a 
only seven of them. Yeah. I never said who, for whose side is gonna be fucked up on. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Good job. And her. I'm up there, my end. Cobalt have an initiative of nine. And nine, nine, nine. Shish. <laughs> we have a commoner with an initiative of no. Yeah, with an initiative of no. <laughs> <laughs> it's nope. the same thing. And that one? Yes. All right. Yeah. Arafin, it is your turn first. <laughs> Woo! Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, closest baddie she'd see would be this guy on the south southern part of the board. Rely on a good old fashioned Eldritch Blast. Pew. Uh, it's a cobalt, so that's gonna hit. <laughs> oh yeah. Damage is seven. Seven damage. I need to keep remembering that my GM screen is on a different computer. Seven damage. What? Your Eldritch Blast obliterates the Cobalt. <laughs> it slams into the Cobalt's chest, sending a spray of gore and Cobalt bits across the ground. The children squeak in terror as the woman kind of glances back. There's like... Oh, thank goodness. Help! <laughs> the, co On it. the kobolds, meanwhile, screech in rage at, the, at their fallen comrade. And Astos. Okay, are these the uh, humans that were running away? Yes. Generic cool. NPC token for the win. Cool. I'm gonna rush up to this cobalt here and hit them with my axe or whatever weapon I have. Got it. Hit them in the axe, in the axe, in the axe. <clears throat> Hopefully this rolls right. I don't think it will. Yeah! Oh, damn. Woo. <laughs> yeah, that rolled right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Bye bye, Cobalt. Ow! <laughs> He's in twain. Skull in twain. Uh, no, you cleaved the entire Cobalt in twain. <laughs> like Flutter. <laughs> Alright, that's my turn. I'd like to see them try to touch me now. Yeah. All right, and then it will go to the Cobalt's turn. Cobalt's mad! They start sputtering and hissing in their in their silly little language. One of them steps up to try and attack the children, but the no. woman the woman manages to intervene, stepping in the way. Yay! Cobalt swings an attack at her, and if I can find my proper numbers here, it swings at her and manages to hit. Oh no. She cries out as the Cobalt 
neatly slices into her leg, sending her falling to her knees. Crud. Fortunately, the other kobolds seem way more interested in Astos. Hell yeah, they do. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Astos, what is your AC real quick? 13. Oh, no. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine. One miss. One hit. Two, two hits. Three hits. It's fine. Okay. It's uh, fine. Everything's fine. The first one slices into your leg, dealing five damage. Woo! The next one cuts into your shoulder, dealing four more. Oh. How much health do you have? <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> Is this before or after? Well, well, you're taking five more, buckaroo. That puts me at... Okay. <laughs> health do you actually have? Hang on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a zero. That'll put you right at zero. Oh, <laughs> I can live with that. You did the thing. You were a beautiful tank. We Good job. You. Good job, Please tank. Please help me. <laughs> Nate, it's your turn. So how bad is our is our dragonborn friend? She's on the ground, slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's so she's prone, right? She is prone. Yes. Yeah. Mm. God damn it! It's fine. What would your character do? Well, if they were still up and moving, I would have run over there to just fan the area with fire. Would you allow me to aim my, uh, uh, burning hands so that it doesn't hit our prone compatriot? I will allow you the burning hands to miss her since she's currently on the ground. Okay. Unfortunately, I can only move so far as to get three of them, not all four. So let's see what happens, shall we? Pew! Do the thing. And, and she just sl runs up, puts her, her fingers together, displays out her hands, aims a little up to compensate, and a gout of fire releases from her fingertips. <gasps> Woo! I'd get all four. Girl! Oh, okay. Nice. Burn, baby, burn. Do, 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 do. All right, and they have to make deck saves. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> The one thing you didn't count on. <laughs> okay. Well, one of them got a nat 20. The rest of them completely failed. Oh. <laughs> would it still die to five damage? It actually would. It didn't matter then. <laughs> no. He rolled a nat 20, and the rest of them didn't even roll above 10. I'm giving this cobalt a pass because that's a badass. <laughs> Maybe like at one HP or no? That cobalt dodged it completely. He has a level in rogue. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> a single level in rogue would get. No, 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 I'm, I'm not even gonna. Not All even right. gonna right now. Buttercup. God damn oh, it, a face is a little fuck. 
What? <laughs> I already messed up with my character. You fucked it up, Buttercup. Yep. What'd you mess up? This is my lucky trait. I could have rerolled my one for initiative. No! <laughs> or, no, no, no. Nay. You, could, you could. Anyways, this little kobold way up here. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Hit. Uh, yeah, I, I'll say that hits. Yeah, girl. Your bow goes through the hair of one of the children, through the armpit of the woman, and into the goddamn chest of the kobold. He goes bouncing backwards a couple feet before finally coming to a stop and no longer moving. Girl. All right. Will that be your turn? Yes. Okay. The woman kind of looks around at all the dead kobolds, looks back at the party, and then looks at the children like, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> Arafin. <laughs> Let's see. All right. I'll just blast the straggler. Ah! <laughs> it's fine. Okay, hang on. Let me pull my crit calculator out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Already? Already. Yeah. God I have the first it. kill of the game, and I have the first nap one of the game. Sarah, <laughs> of Sarah, please make me, please make me a D one hundred roll. All right, one hundred. What crazy crap's gonna oh, happen? Oh no! D one hundred, not one hundred. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Darn you typos. Darn you. Seventy. I made a D. <laughs> <laughs> or a C, depending on your school system. <laughs> Holy crap. What does Sir Mercy have in store uh, for me? Oh, mercy? Man. It does not exist here anymore. Don't you There's know that? no mercy here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Zool. <laughs> Misses, throne ranged. You hit an unintended random target. So, Me. everyone within 10 feet of the intended target. So, Astos. <laughs> and make a second attack roll. Oh no. You'll have advantage because she's prone. Uh, no. She's prone. Disadvantage. Morgan does a 19 hit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Go ahead. It's fine. It's only a little bit of it's on, for it's only It's only one instant death save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never had to make a death save before. How do I do that? Just roll. No, 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 you automatically failed one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah we, we need to come alive. over and help you. Thank now, God. here's the real question. Does anyone in the party have proficiency in medicine? Nope. Uh, Alright, Astos, <laughs> go <not> ahead. <laughs> Astos, go ahead and roll a d20. On a 1 to 10, you fail. On an 11 to 20, you succeed. That's a second it's fail. It's fine. <laughs> um, this is. Uh. Oh, now it's the kobold's turn. It's 
fine. Well, they should leave her alone. I mean, she smells dead. And <laughs> also, you know, <laughs> Nora just gouted the rest of his buddies. If anything, I think it would try to run away. The kobold looks looks at Nora, looks down at Astos, looks back up at Nora, looks at the dagger in its hands, looks back at Astos, <laughs> looks back at Nora, throws the dagger at Nora and books it. <laughs> <laughs> the dagger lands a good five feet away from Nora. As the kobold <laughs> just, just fucking leaves. Uh, like, it is, I know. it is gone. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Can I try shooting it? It throws away. My turn is after. Is it, is it out of 120 feet? No. God, we really just want to annihilate these people, huh? Well, they just hurt you. I mean... <laughs> We must have been to the copper I'm just imagining both of us as the kobold starts to run. Just go, you go thunk, and I just whip out a bolt of fire and go poof. Both of you roll the attack. Whichever one rolls higher and actually hits will hit the kobold. Ow. <laughs> You're short bow did. So, uh, okay. the rogue just stole the kill. As it pierces the back of the kobold's head, the kobold squash and goes hurtling head over heels until it comes to a stop in a crumpled pile of dead. You you want to know what I just love imagining for that scenario? Pain. Mm. Uh, Buttercup shooting her arrow through the bolt of fire that's being prepared and just lighting their own arrow on fire. <laughs> That's actually pretty friggin' epic. Amazing. Okay. Alright, so while you two do the epic move, <laughs> Aerithin would go up to <laughs> Astos and try to slap her awake or <laughs> administer some bare, basic form of medicine. Please. She's got one skill point in Please it. Please tell <laughs> me you don't actually slap the dying dragonborn barbarian. No. It, it, it is a DC 10 medicine check. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> yes! She is now she is now stabilized. Whoa! Not Ni conscious, just stabilized. <laughs> Nicely rolled. Thank you. <laughs> this campaign has been so many highs and lows. <laughs> in all in 46 minutes. <laughs> I'll point out, we've only been recording for 33 minutes. Ah! We are on the first episode, less than an hour in, and I've almost already killed a party member. <laughs> I, th Good job, Hawk. I think this is a new personal best. <laughs> are you sure you want to use the word best? Uh, the woman, yes. the woman comes over and begins performing basic, helping, uh, Helping Arafin perform basic first aid. Uh, Astos, you will regain. Because I'm not going to be a dick. One HP. <laughs> Thank you. You're not going to be a dick. The dice are. The dice not will be fault. a dick. I! You can, like, give a thumbs up. The woman looks at the party. As her children come up behind her, helping to carry the uh, a heavily wounded man. <sighs> Thank you for your help, strangers. My name's Linan, Linan Swift. I don't suppose you're here to help us with these uh, raiders. Well, I did just how her. Uh, well, sure. Well, of course. We couldn't let... Well, we couldn't let people just be attacked for no reason. The yeah, I mean, what are we, lizard folk? Well, 
Oh, that's that's racist. racist. Looks over. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, pretty. Just almost glares at you. Hey, 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 you guys are dragon folk. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway, <laughs> who's raiding your place anyway? We can't really make much out with all the smoke around. I'm not sure. They came out of nowhere with that thing up there. And she kind of gestures to the sky. The dragon is currently on the other side of town. Ah. But all I know is that we need to get to the fort. If we can get there, we're safe. And she points in a that away direction. All right. Glancing in the indicated direction, you can see that the keep she's referring to is most likely this one. However, it's going to be a bit of a trek to get there. Yeah. Uh, is there a cart in nearby? Like, can I roll an investigation? Uh, go ahead and roll it. The real question is, is there a cart nearby that isn't on fire? Uh, it's with the natural oh, ones wow. today. She found uh, one on fire. You found a cart <laughs> on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work out. Uh, Fortunately... <clears throat> Hey, there you go. Fortunately, Nora manages to find a uh, working cart. Oh, here comes the big that thing. isn't on fire. Is there a place where we can get her some medicines or something before we get there? The keep. If we can reach the keep, we'll be okay. They have medicine there. The old witch who used to live here, she kept a store of potions there. They're using it to keep all the guards awake, most likely. Let's do it. Buttercup says, as she raises her finger to the sky. <laughs> all right. All right, so yeah. get the kids and Astos in the cart, and either we can all pull it together, or we can find a horse and start trying to make our way over there. I'm assuming a strength of ten cannot push it. No. <laughs> no. I'd offer, but I'm at one HP. Right, you're in the cart, sweetie. That's That's right out of my yeah. strength of eight. <laughs> when you have an array and you put oh, a stat into strength. I have a strength of eighteen. I just I couldn't Nate, do it. I'm just Nate. at one HP. Mm -hmm. Nate, I think your character actually has the highest strength, aside from the injured barbarian. <laughs> fortunately, okay. fortunately, Lenan is willing to help you push. Alright. Okay. Uh, also, Aerith I pick, just kind of uh, walk, walk alongside of it. I also pick up the, the kobold's dagger. Okay. It's shit. Okay, it's throw fodder. Fair enough. Pretty much. Or a tool. Uh, All right. So add we'll... add low quality dagger to your uh, inventory, please. It would be. I just upped the number of daggers that I have. It's a one d six. One d four, yeah. <laughs> it's a one d four right, uh, dagger. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Buttercup, since you've got the awesome super duper bow, do you want to stay in the back or do you want to be closer to the front? I'm better off pushing. What? I'm better off pushing. <laughs> okay, she's pushing. All right. Okay. Um, uh, Arifin would try to get up front a little bit close to Lenon to help scout ahead. Do we see roll perception for any oncoming danger? Do we see any pack animals around, like a mule or a donkey or something? Surprisingly, no. You actually don't see any animals around. Roll me a... Everyone roll perception. Arafin's got the right idea. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are your halfling eyes? 
everything. <laughs> what do your animu eyes see? They're taking the hobbit to uh, the, they're taking hobbit chan to Isengard, the baka. <laughs> <laughs> Your pain sustains me, Morgan. <laughs> God, at least it's sustaining someone. <laughs> yeah, what does sustain a copper dragonborn? Food. Food? <laughs> I don't think we have a copper dragonborn here. You do! Oh, sorry, it's me! Ha ha! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Love right. and instruments, obviously. All right, Buttercup. <laughs> As you look around, you don't see anything, but you distinctly hear multiple groups of raiders moving around the town, busting up houses. You realize with your roguish intuition and senses that you're probably going to have to try and sneak the cart past. Because if they see y'all moving it towards the keep... You're going to be attacked. What do you mean, sneaky? Get some branches and cover it. Give you a bush. Okay. Yes, a very large bush. Roll. Roll knowledge nature. That or we sneak it through across the backyard right. rather than taking the street. Now roll me deception. Okay. Deception, not perception. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want me to roll that? So good. Oh wow. All right. All right. You okay. manage you manage to cover the cart in lots of sticks and leaves, coating it with all sorts of naturalist disguises. Do you feel proud? You feel yeah. ready? Let's go. All right. Push. Arafin, roll me a d8, please. Two. All right. You managed to get up to this point. You know that the keep is to the... Uh, You see where the keep is. However, you have two routes to get there. One takes the main road. The other goes down the less used roads. Which path would the party like to take? Probably the less used ones, right? Well, the more used yeah. ones, the easier. I'm going to question all of them. It's easier to sneak, but there's more houses, so there might be more enemies. Whereas the main road, yeah, they'll see us coming, but it's a straight way. I'll go with majority rule. But I'm voting for the straight way. I think the route is more heavily traveled. All else fails, I still have my breath weapon. The kobold's leap at the dying dragonborn. <laughs> 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 yep. You are our cannon now. <laughs> All right. Did somebody so, say flame thrower? <laughs> so, what is the consensus here? Main road or side road? I'm saying side. Oh god, now we have a split. Let's just go main road. <laughs> Alright. I, I was gonna roll a die. But... <laughs> main road it is. Here we come to save the day! <laughs> Alright. As you pass the, 
as you pass a couple more buildings. Uh, let's see. Astos, roll me a d8, please. Oh, oh God. Remember, we're a bush. Bush, 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 bush. It's fine. Everything is fine. In out of, <laughs> out of the, out of a couple of the houses, you see a couple more people coming out, looking very worried and concerned. Five more, uh, five more people, just normal villagers, come out carrying bags that look like they're full of like family heirlooms and you know precious belongings. And they're clutching them to their chests. They fall in behind the cart, seeming to recognize it, or at least recognizing Lenan, as friendly. I need... I want to stick my hand out of the bush and wave at them. <laughs> <laughs> One of the kids follows suit, waving at them. Hell yeah. Buttercup. Is there enough space in the cart for them? No, they're just following behind. And another D8. Come hide in the bush with us. Damn. You get down here. As you come around the curve, you see a couple more cultists, or what you assume are cultists, wearing deep red robes, talking and barking orders to kobolds. The kobolds rush south towards what you see as a small creek. The, the cultists head into one of the nearby buildings, apparently not having noticed you. As they do, six more civilians catch up to the party. All of them having large gashes on their arms, legs, and stomachs. They're injured, they're hurt, and yeah, they aren't looking good. Okay, can everyone, can you keep going? How do you go see what they're doing? Are you gonna go see what the cultists are doing? Yes. I'm going to Roll me stealth. Oh god. I'm going to continue help push the cart because apparently I was the strongest one other than our barbarian. Yeah, we want to make sure the civilians get safety. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. You managed to get up to the window of the building that they went into and gently put it, like pull it open. As you do so, you find that the cultists are talking to another figure inside. The figure is garbed in ornate purple and gold robes that seems stylized like a dragon's wing, complete with fucking World of Warcraft sized pauldrons. <laughs> Oh god, his wow syndrome. And the figure is talking in some kind of strange language that you don't really recognize. I don't think. Probably not. What languages do you have? Common. Yeah, you don't recognize it. That's it. <laughs> but the cultists seem to be just kind of like, yeah, yeah, we got it. We understand. Her will be done. And they pound their chests in a salute, and then the figure kind of fizzles out, like it was never even there. And from its, in its place, you see a small, like, cat-sized red dragon that, fla that flaps its wings, flies into the fireplace of the house, and shoots out the chimney. Glancing up, you can see it flying away over the town. Break out across the group. <laughs> and roll me another stealth check, please. Alright. Uh, 
Right, 17. Not bad, not bad. Not good. As you're sneaking away, you hear the cultist yell, Hey! Halfling! Run! <laughs> as you dash away, you manage to catch up to the party as they're just reaching the keep only to find a massive contingent of guards fighting off a legion of kobolds. Sorry, guys! The zombie! <laughs> Sorry! It's fine. This is fine. We just gotta get on the other side of that wall. <sighs> Just a sec to set up the battle map again. Uh, hold me sideways and use me as a flamethrower. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's a totally thing. That's gonna happen. <laughs> Can I use the cart as a buffer against the hurt? <laughs> Most likely. A buffer against the hurt. The hurt that I we... don't have a lot of HP. You have one, right? Two. Just one. Just the one. That's all I need. It's probably none. Yeah. That's all you need to give them the middle claw. <laughs> god. It's fine. Oh my god, I know what I can do. But I'll just save that. What are you doing? It's gonna rain! I have a drum and a will to live. Haha! <laughs> rain! Come on, pull out your barbarian. Do the sandstorm on a bass drum. Slips out a snare drum from from her back. God damn it, my I know this gonna sound weird, but my lips weren't vibrating how I was wanting them to. Not what I meant to roll. <laughs> Come on, game, be nice to me here. All right, Nate, please. As you approach, you see that the kobolds are kind of in the back of this attack party, but they aren't the ones actually doing the attacking. The ones who are actually attacking appear to be humans. Garbed in thick leather armor. Does leather armor look like a dragon? I'm sorry? Does the leather armor look like dragon style? As a matter of fact, it does. I want some. I gotta find it. Oh God, where is it at? All right. Here we are. The party sees a legion of dudes backed up by a legion of kobolds all of which seem to be trying to surround the main gate to the keep 
And as Buttercup rushes up behind, some of the civilians look back to see cultists rushing up towards them. Oh. Who's good at crowd control? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of governors. Yep, you uh, y'all managed to help a lot of them out. Woo! All right, so let's do this. Everybody, re-roll initiative, please. Thank God. Okay. Beep. Time to roll initiative. Uh, Sarah, you, Sarah, you can't sing that. It's a, it's a copyrighted material. Who the fuck copyrighted that? Copyright the mission. To get nothing. The the Mission Impossible theme song. I was copyright singing. Copyright. No, I wasn't talking to you, Nate. No. Oh. I specifically said Sarah! I didn't hear her singing anything. <laughs> Alright, so everyone rolled. Everyone in properly. Everybody. Yar. Jesus Christ, Lenon, get your shit together. See, the cultists have their shit together. That's why they're winning. <laughs> How many cultists are there? Uh, two behind you. And a ton of flunkies up front. I'm sorry. Buttercup, your turn. Well, this is my fault. I'm gonna shoot one of the cult. One of the what? I shoot a cultist. Shooting the cultist. Shoot the cultist. Shooting the cultist. Yes! <laughs> Praying to God. <laughs> no sneak attack, though. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, he saw you coming. That's still a lot of damage. That is quite a bit of damage. As you pierce his spleen. Ah! By the fucking god damn! <laughs> yes, by the fucking goddamn owl. As they say. By the holy power of goddamn owl. <laughs> All right. Ooh, big ping. <laughs> and it is their turn. They get to do this. One of them rushes up to Buttercup, the one she didn't shoot, and with, oh, a, no. and with a loud roar, FOR THE QUEEN! He swings down his mighty ordinary wooden club. What's your AC? Not that high. Not that high, gotcha. And uh, uh, manages to successfully punch you in the face. I don't think any of us have AC that high. And does one damage. Boom. The other one ho pulls the bolt out and holds his hand to his wound. You'll see white fire appear in it and slowly cauterize and heal the wound. Cultist is a caster! Cultist is a caster. And just completely nullified your crit. That said... I'm so happy for the caster. Oh, he snarls something at you in a language you don't understand. But you're pretty sure he just called you a cow. Oh! The bandits continue like to... The bandits continue to push forward, attempting to fight their way into the keep. Whereas the kobolds, one of them turns around, cackles, 
and immediately steps forward. The other kobolds immediately gather up together. <laughs> fairly, fairly nasty looking spears coming out to poke at the group. You know no further! Just keep ours! Sounds like a personal problem. Just keep for Shonda! And... Nora. Oh, I feel bad for these kobolds. As well you should. <laughs> so cute and stupid they're stupid Nora cute. will unfortunately have to drop the cart it's a four wheels cart it's not gonna drop <clears throat> well, drop how she was helping hold pull it okay please continue moves to here as she's about to pull a burning hands of volume number two how many spell slots do you have per day? This is my last first spell. This is my fa last first level. You got it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Woof. Three, four, five. None of them managed to get a nat 20. All of them are fucking obliterated by the blast of fire. Yeah. Except one who looks at all of his friends getting scorched and then looks up at Nora with wondrous eyes. <sighs> okay. Okay. This is where, if I was a bard, I'd give him inspiration by winking. <laughs> Arafin, you're up. Wink anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. I, I, I just sort of looked at the kobold. Like, oh yeah, I'm that. <laughs> Arafin, yeah. your turn. Oh. Uh, gonna look back, see that buttercup kind of got smacked in the face. Be very incensed. They cast blast on that fucker in particular. As a 16 hit him. A 16 will hit him. Yes. In your face. Uh, it does hit That's him in the face. That's for hurting my friend. Oh. <laughs> it does hit him in the face. It hurts. <laughs> a lot. Have you ever been hit in the face by a blast of magic? It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> will that, will uh, that be your turn? Uh, she'll step back towards the cart and that'll be it. All right. Nora, I want you to roll me persuasion, please. Okay. Damn. No, you made it. Ooh. Upon a seeing all of these kobolds get incinerated, upon seeing two acolytes get shot and grievously wounded, the war-weary and broken-down people immediately rally. There is a battle cry as they rush forward. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> as they die. Let's start a riot. Look at. A riot. <laughs> Let's start a riot. Cock, 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 cock. Yes. Are you aware that my character has a snare drum? And if you weren't aware, can I have a snare drum? You can have a snare drum. <laughs> roll persuasion. Oh, fuck. No, oh, roll fuck. performance. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I will give you. I will give you advantage on this, just because they're easily swayed at the moment. Uh -huh. 
but so, they no. start marching and rushing forward in time with your drum. Oh, hell yeah. And then Woo! they start swinging. They start picking up random bits of wood and stone from the ground around them and start throwing them up at the bandits. I doubt uh, any of them are going to hit. Oh, one hit, two hit, three hit. Three of them managed to hit the bandits. Awesome. That's how we do it, and here in Greenest. <laughs> Are they throwing stuff? They're just throwing random stuff, yeah. <laughs> nice. The bandits are starting to take notice, and as they glance back to see this unruly mob of villagers, led by a t led by a t two dragonborn, a clearly a mage of some kind. And a very, very angry halfling. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't see the halfling. They are... Yeah, they don't see the halfling. It's behind the cart. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> He's short. Excuse me. Sorry, behind the bush. <laughs> Shit. The bush. that yay good job me thanks me astos mm -hmm. it is your actual turn um i'm gonna preemptively activate rage and start eat, eating my drum faster oh god roll me another performance check you Thanks. won't have advantage on this one. That's fine. I I never rolled high in my life. Your beating of the drum starts to go a little out of tune as your rage takes you. Oh hell yeah. Buttercup. <laughs> Fuck him up, Buttercup. Buttercup's gonna drop her shirt. Whoa. And grab her shirt. Two daggers. Okay. And go dice down. Step step. Awesome. So, uh, I believe yeah. this is a uh, powerful tactic called the double stab. First, you stab them once. <laughs> then, you pull out your second dagger and stab them again. Ooh. You see, because if the first one misses, which it did, the second one will hit. <laughs> and then who looks like an idiot? <laughs> Easy, the dead guy. <laughs> I keep being beautiful. I'm gonna glare at the other one and say, You next. <laughs> oh shit, it's his turn. The acolyte looks at you and says, I'll pass, thank you. And turns and runs like a bitch. Uh, he is he is gone. He is out. He's out at nine thousand. <laughs> the bandits, now thoroughly pissed off, step forward and pull out crossbows. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sarah, you're roboting hard. It's kind of funny because you're laughing while doing it. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, they don't really aim at the party. They aim at the people who were shooting at them. No. No. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is one, two, three, four, five hits. That is awesome. Not awesome. One, not us. two, three, four, five. 
five of the villagers are shot down as they fall the other villagers look in on in horror and shock as these poor people are just mowed down by a wall of bullets. Not bullets. Arrows. Sorry. Wrong campaign. Bolts. Yeah. Bolts. Quit uh. correcting me! <laughs> and, oh, yes. And the one kobold comes up. Are you an angel? Even draconic. <laughs> even, even better. A dragon. <gasps> wow. <laughs> <laughs> he is immediately smitten with you. Roll persuasion. <laughs> 21. This kobold loves you. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. The party have a pet. <laughs> that happened way faster than I thought it would. <laughs> Nora, your turn. Okay. Well. You better tell us that one's a pet, otherwise we're going to think it's attacking you. I, okay, to make it clear that this one is a pet, I'm going to pet its head with ah. one hand as I fling a bolt of fire at the other, at one of the bandits. All right. Which one? Uh. This one. You got it. Roll it. That boyo gets shot by a firebolt. Which, yeah, you hit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks he looks mildly put out by the little shot of fire that hits him in the space. Ah! No, bad. <laughs> no, I'm I'm imagining it's it's a dwarf and I caught his beard on fire. <laughs> Head cannon accepted. The dwarf pats <laughs> down his beard. Ah, no! Oh, man. Ah. <laughs> All right. And Arafin, your turn. Yeah. Uh, sorry, technical issue. I'm reloading the map. Uh, she'll see the new dragon as a pet and just be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> and then the dwarf on fire is going to get this manic look in her face like, I could do this all day. He casts another Eldritch Blast at a bandit. And if I can get my sheet to work. I'm sorry, but this is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty fun. <laughs> I'll go ahead and roll for you while you're loading. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, whatever closest bandit towards her. That'll hit. Deal five Ooh. force damage to the one of them closest to you. Who takes awesome. it in the chest, but his armor seems to absorb a lot of the damage. He doesn't look happy, okay. though. He's definitely winded, but he's not that hurt. Alright, then she moves like ten feet forward, and that'll be the end of her turn. You got it. Alright. <clears throat> the villagers are now backing away. Having realized... Yeah, they're probably not going to cut it out. Cut. They're, they're not going to be that useful here. Linan throws down the cart and fucking charges. All right. <gasps> okay. Her broken spear comes up. Ho! Oh! <laughs> and just fucking takes this guy off the ground and drives him into the floor. Her spear comes up into the into the bandit's gut, and she fucking suplexes him with a spear. 
Work with me here. There we go. <laughs> with that, she turns back to the other five bandits who are all looking quite disturbed at that sight. This is my city! You get the hell out! I, if she's going to intimidate, I would like to... I would like to... She is not. No, I can't. She doesn't have any ranks in Intimidate, nor does she have a, have a Charisma score. Alright, Buttercup. No, Astos. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna do something stupid. Good. When do we not? <laughs> I'll be inspired by Lenon just charging off, screaming, and jump out of the cart and go support her. But, like, at a reasonable distance, I'm sure. What is your movement hmm. speed? I have... It's fine. I have fire <laughs> in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Alright. Yeah, it's fine. I won't hit one on. Go ahead and move. Alright. Here's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> that won't hit Lenon, will it? <clears throat> I'll let you lean forward so it won't. Cool. I'm nine feet tall. I'm sure I can pull it off. Ah. Holy okay. shit, you're nine feet tall. Nice. Yeah. I'm like four. Yeah. One and two. One of them saved, the other one did not. So the one that saved manages to dive away just in time, only getting his his leg scorched. The other one takes the full brunt. <coughs> Excuse me. And Buttercup. There's a dead cultist in front of you. Yeah. Continue. Please proceed with the murderizing. I'm gonna <laughs> dash the daggers and pick up the sharp sure bow. I'll take that as a bonus action. And I'm gonna move and hide among people. All right. Roll stealth. Roll stealth. <clears throat> if you can take out this guy, you you I'll see what I can. Uh, yep, you have advantage on your next attack, but you will also make a sneak attack because they don't know you're there. Yeah. So, proceed. So this is that kill me. I'm willing to say it was part of your move action. So can still attack. Go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Right. Short bow. As you get as you hide among the crowd, a couple of them glance at you and smile as you re roll that with your No, you got a twenty one. Well I can to re roll it. You can choose to re roll it if you want. Well, I have advantage. You can re roll the seven. Exactly, you're a little seven. Go for it. Let's see if you get a 20. No. Okay. With a 21, you will snipe as your shot goes through the legs of one of the townspeople, uh, past Arafin's dress, and into the face of one of the bad guys. Roll your sneak attack damage as well, please. Oh, I should have rolled it. Roll 20, you fail me. <laughs> you have failed this internet. Roll. Just roll another 10. Okay. A 
Okay, I'm gonna take the lower roll because holy crap. Like I said, forget the pants. <laughs> no, even then. Your snipe takes out his eye and the bandit falls back and slumps on the ground, dead. Now it is the bandit's turn. Quick question. Yes. Do you mind death saving throws reset or yes. on your next rest uh actually no every time that you get back up they reset normally oh okay cool so god does love me of course i love you <laughs> all right the bandits back away aim their shots and fire First shot at Lenan will not hit. Second shot at Astos will not hit. Third shot at Arafin will hit. And fourth shot at Nora will hit. Uh, nice. So it is above 14. Gotcha. Alright. Yep. How much damage do I take? Nora will take seven. Arafin will take four. Phew. Ow. Nora, your turn. Make them pay. That, that is a big ow. I forget. Is a, is a dragonborn's breath weapon 15 or 10 foot? It's fifteen. It's fifteen for a cone. Okay. You've already used yours for a fairy, though. No, I haven't. Yep. Did you? No, that's right. You haven't. You've been burning hands. Go ahead. I move up to here. Hey, look! Three guys within fifteen feet. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> They make their deck saves. One, two, three. Two of them make it. One of them... <clears throat> one of them clearly does not know how to dodge when a dragonborn breathes fire at him. <laughs> and he is completely roasted. I am proving that I is dragon. <laughs> what? It must be the middle guy who's in the middle of it all. Alright, this guy will take four, and this guy will take four as well. Alright, the other two manage to avoid most of the fire, but still get scorched pretty bad. With that done, Arafin. Alright, which one shot me? Uh, that asshole. <laughs> okay. Let's see, how far can I move? 30. Awesome. Airflyn would run up, get in his face, and cast poison spray. <laughs> you hit. Beautiful. As you rush up, he he backs away, trying to avo trying to get away from you. As you spray him in the face with poison, he does not make that save. He screams in agony as the toxins start melting his face off. Ah! Not the beard! <laughs> Alright, and Lenon. Lenon takes a couple steps back. And y'all can see that she is starting to succumb to her wounds. She's uh, she's starting to get shaky need. She's looking pale. It's not it's not a happy scene for her. Ah, oh, nuts. So with the last of her strength, she roars and throws her broken spear, which clatters hopelessly on the ground. And then she backs away further. 
Meanwhile, the other villagers, seeing an advantage here, start to slowly creep forward. I'm imagining like they're just pushing the cart. Yeah, they are. Ask us. Okay. Oh god. Let me... As you decide what you're going to do, you notice that some of the guards on the keep have started pulling out bows and are aiming down at the bandits, kind of waiting to see what happens and if they need to actually spend their arrows. I had hoped. Uh, do I see that? Can I see that? Yes, you can. I'm going to with all of my might, start screaming at them to shoot the bandits. Alright. Not even going to make your own persuasion. They start shooting! Cool. One of them breaks his bow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's three, five, and five. One of the bandits is skewered by the attack. I could goddamn give him the X. Thank you, Will 20. Another one takes a bolt to the neck and starts stumbling around. And the other one, right in front of Arafin. Is shot into the back and he falls onto his face. Okay. She'll call up to the guards. Much obliged. You're welcome. Astos, you still have your move and your action. There's only one bandit left. And he's wounded, right? Oh, he's badly wounded. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I'll just weave around those two and try and take them out. God, this could end badly. Roll your attack. We believe in you. You rush up, I am. use the kobold as a footstool, and leap into the air. <laughs> All right. Gonna... You're a big lady dragon. He's okay with that. <laughs> Roll damage. That'll hit. As your great yeah. axe comes down on him hard. Uh, yeah, dragon smash. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smash. Nice. That, let's see, that was two acolytes, 11 cobalts, 12 cobalts total. I'll count Pet as having been defeated, and six bandits. We did good. Yeah, you did very good. And how many <laughs> civilians do we lose? A lot. Like, how out of the group we had. You lost. That's not bad. Oh, well, still sucks, but now are they actually dead or just badly wounded and are bleeding they're, out? They're they're dead. No, oh. no. Damn it. There, there we go. Yeah. War as hell. Boop. All right. Let me do some quick calculations here. According to my calculations, if you look at my calculations, uh, it says here, uh, you a bitch, Nate. <laughs> well, I am playing a female character right now, so... <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're a dog. True. I'm a scaly dog. Woof, woof. Bark, bark. Wait, I'll be the yeah. Are we playing all lady? Oh my god, we're all ladies! Are we? Yay! Yeah! Like, oh my god! Holy crap! Last night out! <laughs> I think this is the first! Yeah, I, if everyone, if we get any more players, they have to play women. Like, it's now a rule. <laughs> Alright. You have managed to save ten people. Yeah. So let's see, that's four, 450, 550. Every, uh, all four of you will gain 
250 experience. Woo! Oh. All so four of you. All four. <laughs> yeah, you're close to leveling up. You'll actually probably level up at the end of this. You do get bonus XP. This is just for how many people you saved and how many monsters you killed. And how many people we moitered. How do I recover arrows? How many did you shoot? Four. Roll 4d100. 50-50 shot. Yep. Uh, any of them below 50, you will have recovered. So, you got two arrows back. I'll take it. Yep. Yes, you will. As you, as the guard, the guards watch as your party enters the keep. A rather austere looking facility comprised of a large circular building and large stone walls with reinforced with wood and uh, mortar around it. As you enter, you see a good number of other civilians you know, recovering from today's incidents. As you approach, you see a wizened old man, a human of about Yes, uh, late 50s, early 60s. He approaches your group. Hail there, strangers. May I ask? May I ask your names? Uh, nor am I. Pleasure to meet you. My name's Asus, and I'm in pain. And I could use a potion too. Ow. We've got plenty. <laughs> kind of holding her side. <laughs> please, please come in. I cannot thank you enough for bringing my people to safety. Thank you so much. My name. Well, we were just passing through. <laughs> my name is Tarbon Nighthill. I'm the governor here at Greenest. I'm sure it was lovely before the dragon. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, it was. It was, it was nice. Please, come in. He leads you into, into the keep itself, where you find a good number of what looks like doctors and healers trying their best to help the townspeople who have been injured in the attack. As you look around, you can see that there's a lot of people here. Sarah, could you please move your mic away from your face? Apologies. Thank you. And a couple of the doctors and healers come over and immediately start bandaging up your wounds, as well as providing what little potion healing they have. You're all going to be restored to full. Whoa. Thank you. After they treat you, which takes about 30 minutes total, they direct you to follow the governor up to the actual parapet of the keep. As you emerge out onto the top of the walls, you can see the entirety of the city. He looks over as the four of you approach. I truly hate to ask this of you. Must we are in dire need of help. If any of you would be willing to assist us, we would greatly appreciate it. I'm up for helping. There's nothing object objectionable to it. But that's what we were here for. show you the map. No, 
small map. This is just a smaller map version of everything y'all are currently looking at on the screen. Okay. But what he would say to you is that at specific locations, there are troubles that they've heard about through the survivors coming to them. Bless you. There are a couple of things of key locations that we could use, quite honestly. There's a there's an old mill out on the eastern side of town. If, if you look here, you'll see it. And it should have moved everyone to it. Unless I can't do that with my... There we go. That old mill is a key place for us. If we could get in there, we could easily save many lives by barricading ourselves in it. But it was one of the first places these raiders took. Bastards. Hmm. In addition, we'll just have to reverse that. Uh, that's not all. There's also a sanctuary on the far eastern side of town. We, it used to be a church, but it's just become an old temple now. But we could we, we could use it to save people. The holy water down there could purify some of these wounds. If we just we need someone to go and clear it out of these hooligans. That sounds doable. Out of character, I think I actually got those two locations mixed up, but whatever. Oh well. It's fine. There's a couple other key spots we could take, but I dare not ask that much of you. Well, we'll see how hard the, these two locations are. Indeed. I thank the four of you for your help. You are truly heroes to greenest. Alright. But for now, please, get some rest and set out when you are ready. Well, Brock also needed something. What's up? So for the night. All of those bandits yeah. have some really cool looking leather armor. Yeah. And she's going to try to piecemeal a step or so. You do not have time for that right now. Oh. Like, you're setting out in an hour. Okay. Yeah. Maybe later. Maybe. All right. I believe we will call it here for the night. Next Woo! next time on Tyranny of Dragons, our heroes will set out and try to save this town from an attack of raiders, cultists, and little lizard people. Woo! Yay, little lizard people! Woo! Girl. Speaki speaking of which, I'll be l trying to learn my kobold's name. You should just rename him. <laughs> Probably take it. Uh, his name is whatever you want to call me, mistress. <laughs> Step on me, dragon okay. mommy. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa.
<laughs> I think. That was fun. That was indeed fun. Yeah. Um, everyone, level two. Yeah! Well, you gain 50 mm -hmm. bonus experience. That'll be enough to get you up to level two. Uh, you will be able to level up prior to going out on these adventures. Don't, well, you'll be fully healed because of the healers in the keep. So, yeah, level up. And when we come back together in two weeks, we'll have four level two adventurers going up against the raiders and cult that seems to be invading this poor town. I'm going to end the recording here for YouTube. Beep boop. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tyranny of Dragons. My name is Hawk, and I've been your GM for today. Our players today were Sarah, playing Arafin, the human warlock. Nate, playing Nora Mog, the dragonborn sorcerer. Morgan, playing Astos, the dragonborn barbarian. And Carrie, playing Buttercup, the halfling rogue. Character artwork used belongs to Tengu Arts, Atlas, Sims Studio, and Morgan, who drew his own character. Tyranny of Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, and all associated characters and properties are copyright Wizards of the Coast. This has been a Prism Blade Gaming production. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We also stream these episodes on a bi-weekly basis on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash hawkjohensen. Link is in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Hawk Johansson, for regular updates on new episodes and campaigns that we'll be streaming. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.